With the Harley Davidson Pan America, we use pickup spools that install to the hollow rear axle and we secure them on both sides and this provides a hard pickup point on the bike. So to install the pickup spools, they simply slide through the hollow axle and we secure them on the other side. We provide Loctite with every kit as well, just to make sure that they don't come loose. So just do them up finger tight first and with the Allen keys we supply, just nip them up and then an additional quarter turn is all you need. So one of the other unique features we have with our new Harley sets is our clip-on outriggers. So traditionally paddock stands have had just pickup hooks and they then engage with the pickup spool. So we've taken that one step further and created a, an actual clip-on system. So with our clip-on outriggers, the pickup spools actually clip in and they provide a permanent connection to the bike. So the, the next thing we do is we adjust the width or the spacing of the outriggers for the bike. So we just bring the stand up to the bike, just line them up and adjust the spacing. So the next thing we do is we attach the outriggers to the pickup spools. So we come in on the left hand side first and then we snap the outrigger into the pickup spool and on the right hand side So now the stand is securely attached to the bike. So we do two actions. The first one is to lift the bike up off the side stand by pushing down on the handle. And then the second is to push down to lift the bike up off the ground. So we then remove the handle. And the handle is positioned at the front. And it acts as a safety bar to prevent the bike from unloading off the stand. So now the second stand we have is the front wheel stand. And what the front wheel stand does is it cradles the tire. So to install the front stand, we simply roll the bike forward and then push down. And that allows us to pivot the bike on the front wheel. Because we're connecting to the bike via the hollow rear axle, we do need clearance uh, at the axle. And with the Pan America, the upswept exhaust gives us that clearance. So for other models, what we need is the exhaust to terminate forward of the axle. If we're looking in sideways at the bike, if we can see the axle and the, the exhaust system is forward, then that gives us that necessary clearance. So the wheels themselves are quite durable. And here we have them on a, a painted concrete surface, but they're also right at home on unfinished concrete, even surfaces like asphalt or pebble surfaced concrete. The benefit of the omnidirectional wheel, because it doesn't pivot, it will allow you to navigate across things like expansion joints, um, tiles for example, so the grout uh, grooves in tiles. They're quite robust. So something else we include in the Harley Davidson kits is a strap. And what the strap is designed to do is hold the front brake on. And what that does is when you're unloading the rear stand off the bike, the bike has a tendency to move forward. Why we don't want the bike to roll forward is that the stand can move back and in some cases flip up on you. So just putting the, the strap on the front brake just eliminates the chance of that occurring. So when we've got the rear stand, you're able to pivot the bike around the front tire. But of course, with the front stand now, that allows us to actually move the bike completely sideways. And just it's just that, that small amount of movement that you, you can do up against a wall in a parking space that can sometimes make all the difference.